He's being called the 23 million mile man. Tom Stuker just passed 23 million miles on United Airlines. It all started in 1990 when he bought a lifetime pass for $290,000. He never goes more than a week without flying. Tom joins us now live. Tom, thanks for being with us. Good morning. Us. Hey, excited to be on WGN. I love your station. Well, thank, thank you. you. So can I ask how this all started? Who knew this was even offered back in 1990? Of course, I wasn't in the market for buying it, but how did you hear about it? Well, I, I, I literally went down to Dallas every month to, to uh, film a TV show I was involved in back then. And my producer said, uh, hey, you should get this pass on American Airlines that lets you fly for the rest of your life for you know $290,000. And so I went to United and I said, I think you're gonna lose me as a customer. And they said, we have the same thing. They came out to my office, they presented it and I did the number crunching and made a really good business decision because that's what I bought the pass for was to save money on my business travel. And they still have different programs that do that, just not the unlimited. Yeah, I was gonna say, are you the reason they don't do it anymore? <laughs> I would pr I'd probably say that's why they stopped selling them and, um, and haven't brought it back. Back then it was a, an intelligent decision for the airlines to sell the passes because it helped cash flow. It's not needed anymore. So and I, I think I'm not needed anymore, but uh, um, uh, I am so, so grateful for United offering that. And yes, I have taken advantage of it tremendously. Did you, and I mean, did you foresee for a good period, 30 years in the future that I'm going to be flying a few days a week? You knew that about your job and you were going to keep doing it and it would have been worth your while? No, uh, the, uh, the, the, the early years, I don't know, maybe the first 10 years, it was strictly all about business. I, my, biz, my business exploded in the consulting, I'm in the consulting business, and it consulted globally, and we did a lot of work in Australia, 15, 20 times a year sometimes. Ah. So that really made the past such a great business decision. But, uh, and my, my kids were young, so I needed to spend time with them. But um, uh, as, as years went on, I started using it more, uh, usually in the late 90s, I started doing more um, uh, fun trips more uh, vacations, more honeymoons. And, uh, and and lately, like in the last 12 years, take away the two pandemic uh, years, I've probably flown like a million miles a year just to get a little crazy with it. Wow, and you've gotten to sit with some celebrities, uh, Janet Jackson, Steven Tyler, Bill Murray. Uh, how'd that go? Any fun stories from that? Oh, well, you know what? Bill, well, all of them, uh, uh, Steven Tyler, uh, Bill Murray, uh, uh, Jason Alexander, there are just so many celebrities that are so, so great people. I mean, um, the uh, Bill Murray was in the first class lounge and, and, and I told Bill, my, my brother was coming and he's like the biggest Bill Murray fan. I said, I think he does a better Bill Murray than you do, Bill. And <laughs> he had a, a kick out of that. I told him, he's a, he, my brother's a retired fireman who's disabled. He's had 28 back surgeries. And he says, you have his phone number? He literally called my brother who, didn't answer the phone for whatever reason and he left about a two minute voicemail that is just so so great he says you know i took a semester in in uh, med school i could fix that back of yours and i just, <laughs> he just the, the, the nicest guy you could imagine so uh, could, were you able to accumulate frequent flyer miles in, a, in, in even though you paid for these in advance and you could sell those or use those for other people no no, no. i, I want to make that really yeah, tell really, me how that really works. clear yeah, I was never quoted, if, if any of you see the articles, never quoted to say you could sell or barter. And I'm going to tell the public right now, you don't do that because you could lose your account, oh. not on United, not every airline. That's a no-no. They really, really will come down hard and take your account away if you sell or trade or barter miles for things. Now, and that goes for upgrades too. And not only that, I discourage people from going online and buying any kind of upgrades or mileage tickets because you could get in trouble. You could go to the gate and they're there with you and saying, hey, we can't let you on because you bought a ticket from a mileage ticket. That's not legal in the airline oh, industry. So don't, don't do that. It, I, I can't, you can't. It was a misquoted, the, writer, the original writer thought that everybody did it because he buys broker uh, tickets. Right? Uh, How much do you think all this travel would have cost you if you spent 290000 up front? I mean, do you well, think, okay, do you estimate? All, 
It was it was 510. I don't know where the 290 wow. came from. It was 510 because I bought a pass, a companion pass, which was for me and somebody else with me. So when we did business travel, my my partner and I were both be able to go back and forth to Australia right. at a lot less money. But um, so it, it's it's basically 510 is is worth I don't know how much today. It could be anywhere from one two to 16 million. Depend. Oh God, that was that was a long time ago. Look at but, you. Um, is that, that when you that bought was my the pass? Flight out of Chicago yeah. uh, on, on United uh, back when I was in high school. But oh. the, um, the 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 pass. How much did I save? I saved an awful awful lot. I don't fly for free, and that's a misunderstanding. I didn't buy a ticket for five hundred ten thousand that went from Chicago to Des Moines, and the rest of my flights were free. It's kind of an annuity that funds yeah. the ticket. Now, I think they might have run out of that annuity a little bit and keep on funding a little bit because the United is just so good at, at commitments like that, like oh. the one they're doing to make the air cleaner so I can, I can sound back to the people that are talking about my carbon footprint or whatever. All yeah. right. Well, Tom, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks, Tom. Hey. I, it, this is just like being on the grand prize game. <laughs> it, it's just as good and just as fun, right? <laughs> Have a great day, guys. You Thanks, too, Tom. Tom.